Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have this LE TV LE1S uh, handset with me. I didn't get a box, this is a review unit. So this is all I have. Uh, and this is uh, their budget model. Believe me, uh, this is the budget model, but it does not feel like that. Just peel this off. And uh, uh, some of you were asking me, does it have a micro SD card slot? No, it does not have, but it's a dual SIM device. One SIM slot is a micro SIM and the other one is a nano SIM. Uh, the storage is internal. Uh, it comes with 32 gigabytes of internal storage. And the good thing is that uh, it is completely metallic. Uh, so it gives a very premium feel. And this is the fingerprint scanner. Uh, so the f initial impressions, I would say, uh, feels very premium and nobody will believe that this sells for just around 11,000 rupees. And this is going to be sold exclusively via Flipkart, via the flash sales. I'll have the link in the show notes so that you can register. And uh, let's just power it on again. Uh, as you can see, it uh, has the chamfered edges. Uh, so the build quality seems to be actually really uh, nice considering the price point. And another thing is that uh, it has USB-C type port, not, not the micro USB type, and uh, it supports actually fast charging. Uh, so this is the power button, volume rocker. On the top, uh, we also, I think so, this is the IR blaster, I'm not very sure. And this is the 3.5 mm headphone jack. And this is the uh, slot for the SIM tray. And on the bottom, the speaker and the USB-C type. Uh, so feels actually really nice, a 5.5 inch screen. Let's try to boot it up for the first time. And uh, I'm holding the power button. Give me haptic feedback. And it just says LE TV. And again, this is a new brand. Uh, this got pretty popular in China and they are entering now in India. And uh, they, according to the press statement, they have about 450 service centers uh, already in India. So. It looks interesting and by the time it boots let me give you a configuration overview this le1s is powered by the uh, mediatek helios x10 processor clocked at 2.2 gigahertz which is an octa-core processor it has the power vr gpu 3 gigabytes of ram 32 gigabytes of internal storage usb-c type port moving to the screen it has a 5.5 inch 1080p ips grade screen a 3000 milliamp hour battery metallic body it also has a fingerprint scanner and moving towards the camera the rear facing camera is a 13 megapixel shooter with f 2.0 lens and moving to the front facing camera it has a 5 megapixel shooter i'm just going to set this up so this is the first initial screen that you get and i'm going to select english it is supporting both the 2.4 gigahertz as well as the 5 gigahertz span so it's nice to see that i'll just set up my network and then we'll continue and it has been uh, set up this is the first boot and again it's running a custom ui as you can see this is uh, what we have and again, like many Chinese vendors, it does not have a app tray. So all the icons will be on the screen, but we do have folders as you can see. And these, uh, it has touch type capacitive buttons on the bottom. This is for multitasking. As you can see, again, it's a little a different uh, layout. Uh, this is the home and this is the back. And the uh, light ups, uh, as you can see, it's not light up right now and it lights up. So very nice touch. And I have to say the build quality uh, looks to be really uh, good. Let's look at the Android version. And uh, if you go here, and uh, let's see, it's notification. That's interesting. Let's just go back. So again, uh, UI is a little bit different. We'll go to settings via this one. And let's go to about the phone. And uh, it's running this EUI skin. And uh, if we go to status, uh, again, gives a basic info about battery life, etc. And it runs on the Android version 5.0.2. Uh, so that's a little bit disappointing. Uh, we are not even getting Android 5.1 uh, that is out. And obviously, Android Marshmallow is currently out. Uh, I'll try to update and see if it uh, gets updated. But as of now, it's running on the Android version 5.0.2. And as you can see, uh, the CPU is the Helio X10 8 core CPU clocked at uh, 2.2 gigahertz. Uh, let's also look at the storage because we don't have any micro SD card and we get 32 gigabytes of storage. And out of that, 24.54 uh, gigabytes is the space that you get. So I feel it's a decent space, but again, uh, we don't have any micro SD card with the same. And uh, as we are connected, uh, let's just fire up this Chrome web browser. I'm sure uh, it should work very well. Uh, let's just type in, and this is the default keyboard. That's the Android stock keyboard. And it gives you gentle uh, uh, haptic feedback uh, when you type. 
and this is the mobile uh, version let's just go and uh, this is the desktop variant and again uh, the screen quality is good as you can see the viewing angles uh, seems to be nice and uh, let's also uh, go to the settings and uh, look at the fingerprint uh, scanner let's say it's fingerprints over here and we'll try to enable this add a fingerprint and we have to add a pin one two three four one two three four and now i think so we can uh so looks like uh, skip i want to sky we can add a fingerprint so i'm just uh registering and we just tap in over here and uh, it says put your air fingers like this edges etc and it has been added so let's try to see how well it works i'll just put my finger on it and it unlocks immediately so if let's say if we are even in the browser or something like this and i just hit the fingerprint it unlocks and i have to say it's working very well as of now so the fingerprint uh, scanner works well uh let me do one thing let me also invoke youtube and let's check out the speaker so let me just set this up and we'll continue so searching for my own channel that is kiki ranjit and uh let's just open up this video hi there this is ranjit and this so the speaker is only on this end uh, not this one and the biggest criteria for this as you can see the viewing the angles are nice experience i did not take the so it's just a mono speaker the speaker is over this end not on this end but it's a uh, decent i would say not tinny so that's a nice thing uh it also has the remote control so that means it has the ir blaster uh so for the price i would say you are getting a lot uh let's also look at the camera on this one uh, so there is uh, some bloatware uh there and uh, let's look at the camera uh, it's a 13 megapixel camera and uh, right away it fires so we have the tap to focus so we can just tap into an area and i think so we can adjust the uh, exposure also with this one this is the panorama let's go back to the photo mode and if i tap in so let's take uh, this shot and now let's look at those shots and surprisingly the camera uh, is sharp just notice how small that text was but even when i zoomed in uh, it is actually pretty clear so the camera looks to be interesting uh, again i will be testing the camera a lot more again uh, the f-stop is two so it should be also decent in artificial lighting even the front facing camera is supposed to have a f-stop of two so certainly looks like a very interesting handset considering the price point and again i will also be testing it uh, by doing some gaming and other stuff that's it for now for this first look and overview regarding this le tv le 1s android phone again stay tuned to my channel and if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video